COVID-19 Sanitizer Raw Materials Sanitizers are used to kill pathogenic microorganisms on the transmission medium. It can eliminate pathogenic microorganisms outside the human body, interrupt the transmission of infectious diseases, and achieve the purpose of infection control. Ideal disinfectants consist of characteristics such as a wide germicidal spectrum, strong germicidal ability, fast action speed, high stability, low toxicity or non-toxic, non-corrosive, non-irritative, without residue, good water solubility, safe to humans and animals, affordable, easy to obtain, low degree of environmental pollution, etc. Classified according to components, oxides. The bactericidal mechanism involves releasing the new ecological atomic oxygen and active groups in oxidizing bacteria. Meanwhile, sterilization is characterized by rapid and powerful killing effects on microorganisms, including bacterial spores and viruses. Sterilization mainly focuses on surface disinfection using chlorine dioxide, hydrogen peroxide, ozone, sodium hypochlorite, etc which are also considered bactericides, aldehydes. The bactericidal mechanism involves denaturing or alkylating target proteins and is effective against bacteria, spores, fungi, and viruses. Nevertheless, the influence of temperature is still great on ingredients such as formaldehyde, glutaraldehyde, etc. Phenols. The bactericidal mechanism involves denaturing, precipitating, or inactivating the enzyme system and is effective against fungi and some viruses. Alcohols. The bactericidal mechanism involves denaturing target proteins and interfering with metabolism and is effective against bacteria but not spores, fungi, and viruses using ethanol, isopropanol, etc. Meanwhile, alcohol is a disinfectant with medium efficiency and can only be used for general disinfection. Alkali and salts. The bactericidal mechanism involves denaturing, precipitating, or dissolving target proteins. Its sterilization is characterized by killing bacterial propagules, spores, viruses, and other resistant microorganisms. It is highly bactericidal and corrosive and consists of sodium hydroxide, calcium oxide, salt, non-corrosive, etc. Generally, it can only be used as a preventive disinfectant and sterilizing detergent. Halogens The bactericidal mechanism involves denaturing target proteins by combining halogens with the active gene of oxidizing bacteria. It is characterized by eliminating most microorganisms, mainly surface disinfection, with unstable properties. The bactericidal effect is greatly impacted by environmental conditions, such as sodium hypochlorite. It is a medium efficiency disinfectant and can be used as a general disinfectant. Surfactants. The bactericidal mechanism involves modifying the permeability of the cell membrane, inducing cytoplasm leakage impeding respiration or denaturing proteases. It is characterized by eliminating bacterial propagules but poorly affects spores, fungi, viruses, and tuberculosis bacteria. Surfactants manifest good performance under alkaline and neutral conditions. It is a medium to low efficiency disinfectant and can be used as a general disinfectant. Classified according to disinfection effects. High efficiency disinfectant. Refer to preparations capable of killing bacterial propagules, including mycobacteria, viruses, fungi and their spores, as well as bacterial spores, pathogenic spores, to a certain extent in order to meet requirements for highly effective disinfectant. Medium efficiency disinfectant refers to preparations capable of killing microorganisms such as mycobacteria, fungi, viruses, and bacterial propagules to meet requirements for effective disinfectant. Low efficiency disinfectant refers to preparations capable of killing bacterial propagules and lipophilic viruses to meet requirements for general disinfectant. The COVID-19 pandemic poses severe threats to public health, resulting in high levels of mortality and morbidity. In response, hand sanitizers have been significantly used in homes, public places, and healthcare systems. Hand sanitizers are classified into two broad groups, alcohol and non-alcohol based. Traditionally, alcohol based hand sanitizers contain ethanol and other short chained alcohols ranching from 60% to 70% as the active ingredient responsible for the antimicrobial activity, which can sometimes cause skin dryness. Meanwhile, 
ethanol-containing hand sanitizers are applied to the skin and can effectively reduce the bio-burden of many microbe types. Non-alcohol-based hand sanitizers are constituted of active antimicrobial compounds such as povidone iodine, benzylconium chloride, triclocarbon, and triclosan, achieving the prolonged effect. In response to increasing demand for COVID-19 sanitizer, Alpha Chemistry now supplies raw materials covering povidone iodine, polyhexamethylene gonadine hydrochloride, polyimidocarbon imidoyl imidocarbon imidoyl amino 1,6 hexanetyl hydrochloride, benzylconium chloride, 50% in water, benzylconium bromide, cocoa monoethanolamide, didesyl dimethyl ammonium bromide, didesyl dimethyl ammonium chloride, etc., for hand sanitizer development. Information. Head office. Phone number. Fax number. Email. Thank you. Alpha Chemistry wishes you all the best in the year to come.